when the conditions are tough. The competition gets tougher. God darn it, that was a good one, Pete. Winning won't come easy. Thank you. That was dangerous, but I had to take it. When you're up against the world's best anglers, the competition begins now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We're here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin for the final day of tournament competition of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour on Green Bay. While day one brought anglers lots of rain, it didn't stop anglers like Brian Defner from impressive weights like these. It's time now for your Jimmy John's Freaky Good Catch of the Day. You just weighed 43.92 pounds, busted through the rain to bring us to a new big bag of the day at Jimmy John's Freaky Good Bag, man. Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Delivery. It, it'd be... It'd be huge. I've, I've done this for 10 years, on and off. I have two goals. One was to weigh over 40 pounds. Uh, done it a bunch of times in practice. Weighed 37, 38 pounds. Uh, never broke 40, so I did that yesterday. Second goal, obviously, is win one. Uh, I'm in that position today, so it'd be huge. Here is your top 10 leaderboard for day one. With your Jimmy John's freaky good leader, Brian Defner at the top. Other anglers are keeping things close. With unpredictable weather, always a factor, and ever-changing fishing conditions, today could be anybody's game to win. With all of the, the weather changes, I think we had probably about four fronts that went through yesterday as far as raining, stopping, raining, and then the last one, as I was making my way back in because I was part of the first flight. Oh, it was a doozy. We had a little funnel clouds going, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can come out and do better, perform better here on day two than, than first day. Uh, we'll just see, when I hit the harbor, I'm gonna have to make a split second decision on the wind, because it is bumpy out there right now. And, uh, I'm only like 5'10", if I go any more big waves, I might end up at 5'6", and hit the midget category. I, I mean, it's it's that big of waves out there, and, and uh, you know, you're trying to minimize the time traveling, but yet uh, make sure your equipment's intact. I mean, that's the biggest thing, making sure you get there and, and everything is good to go, including yourself and uh, your, your co-angler, so it makes it an interesting adventure all the way around. You know, it's just another day of fishing. I, uh, obviously, I'd like to like to win this thing, but, you know, uh, we're always at the mercy of the fish, so I'm just gonna go out and do what I do and see how it turns out. Yeah, I like that. It's hard to net when it goes underneath. There you go, Captain. Finally. Need four more like that. Yes, we do. About a 28 inch fish. With one in the box for Brian Defner, we take you now to highlight an angler that is honing his sights on the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year prize. That angler, of course, is Corey Springle, having already won the inaugural event in Red Wing and finishing high along the way, he is certainly one to watch. We caught up with Corey to get his thoughts on his success. That's definitely an upgrade. I feel like every tournament that I get into, at least the last few of them that, you know, I got a shot, you know, I got a shot at, you know, doing well in each one I get in, it's just, the biggest thing is figuring out multiple spots where, you know, if, if this weather changes, I can run here, and if that, you know, it isn't right, I can go there. And, it's all about just having a number of spots, you know, for each body of water that you know, are capable of producing winning waves. We go out now on the water with Corey Springle and co-angler Harry Miller. A lot of the fish are migrating north. A lot of alewives out there. Alewives are basically a type of shad. They get pretty big, up to high close to eight inches, some of them. Uh, there's just a big die off about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Of Ale lives, tons of dead floating ale lives for about a week or so. 20, 15, 10. See him? I'll get him to you, don't go early. Oh, 
Off in the net. There's another nice Green Bay walleye. Finally, 12.30. Looks like Corey is off to a great start to continue his quest for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year. When we return, more from Corey Springle and other anglers in Green Bay. Some people wait for the fish to bite, and some people go get them with a Mercury Optimax Pro XS. The time-tested, tournament-proven choice of champions and weekend warriors alike. Pair it with an innovative Fury propeller and the precise control of a motor guide trolling motor, and you'll have the ultimate fishing rig. See how Mercury gets you first to the fish at mercurymarine.com performance. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Legendary quality. At Ranger, it's an unparalleled commitment to incredible strength. With the industry's only full truded transom, we don't rely on the upper deck to support the transom and motor. It's a difference so strong, we sliced off this rear deck to show its independence from the transom. From total performance to your peace of mind. Cut open the whole story at rangerstrong.com. Jimmy John's? Someone order Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's. Order online at jimmyjohns.com. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger, still building legends one at a time. Triton, we take America fishing. Motor Guide, never stop. Lucas Oil, high performance oil products. Welcome back for the final day of competition in the third tournament stop of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour in Sturgeon Bay. Lots of unique events are scheduled in and around this event. One of the fan favorites is visiting Test Ride. In addition to signing up to win a Minn Kota Talon shallow water anchor at the end of the season, you can take a free ride in a Ranger boat powered by an Evinrude E-Tech outboard. Test Rides is here with the NWT at Sturgeon Bay. We're in our second day. They've had some big weights. Test Rides does nine to 10 events nationwide every summer uh, and into the fall. We bring in uh, a number of anywhere from four to six Evinrude powered rangers equipped with the latest and the greatest from Johnson Outdoors. A lot of people end up buying boats without ever having been in the boats to, is it exactly what they thought it was gonna be? And when we can come into an event like this with the NWT, it's perfect because they can see how's it how's it right across the chop, how dry is it, uh, is there the room in here for the family, uh, the husbands will bring the wives and the kids and they, they crawl through these boats and they run in these boats and, and I'll tell you what when they come back to the docks 
They may not buy a boat today or tomorrow, but I will tell you something, that once they've been in, in a test ride uh, situation with us, when they get ready to buy new or used, Ranger Boats Evan Roods will be at the top of their list because of what they've seen today. It is day two here in Sturgeon Bay, and what a difference from yesterday. First of all, the temperature has dropped dramatically. It is freezing. We've got anglers complaining about not bringing enough layers of clothing, even a few that are wishing they would have brought gloves. But the thing the anglers are going to have to deal with most is getting to their fish today. Although we're in a nice harbor here where it's relatively quiet, if you look up, you can see the flag is blowing a little bit. And what does that mean? Once the anglers get past this no wake zone and onto the big water, it means big waves. There's probably five to six foot waves out there. Navigating to your fish today is gonna to be key. It's gonna eat up a lot of time, and you're gonna to have to pick the right spot to catch the big ones today. It's been challenging, but that's what pros gotta do. They gotta get out here and fish, man. That's what it's all about, going out having fun and um, you know, battling up against mother nature. And you know, it's just sometimes it's just, you win and sometimes you lose, but it's been, it's been difficult. Mother Nature dealt us a hand that we weren't quite expecting, but it's, uh, that's why we play this game. We're ready to go adjust and, uh, and do what we need to do to pull this thing off and, and finish out a great couple of weeks here at Green Bay. Apparently a lot of guys that I thought were gonna show up here today didn't. You can look around, there's a lot of boats around. I didn't fish with any boats yesterday. I was by myself all day until about, oh, I guess about 10 o'clock it got pretty chaotic in this area, but we started here all alone, and uh, it's, a, it's less busy today than it was yesterday, and I didn't really expect that. I expected more boats here today. Just one second. Yeah. He ain't ready to be there yet. It ain't no walleye. Not a chance is this a walleye. And that's how the day goes. <laughs> Boy, did he T-bone it, too, just like that one that got off a minute ago. When I'm out at walleye fishing, it's almost like when I'm out buck hunting. You know, that big buck is, is going to be the one that comes out the different direction. And they move around depending on the wind. Yesterday was, uh, actually the last two days was a south wind, which pushes them up against the structure. Now it's kind of blowing right down the chute. So trying to just pick points to hit and see if they may be set up on those points. You think you figured them out? Thought I'd come down here and take, you know, a couple hours, have a nice gentle ride back. I don't have a fish in the boat yet, and it's 11 o'clock. It looks as though many anglers are having a difficult time putting walleye in the boat today, while other anglers, like Corey Springle, are on a roll, not only finding the walleye, but catching them despite a tough bite on the water. I'm sitting about four pounds back from first right now. Um, I'm basically fishing the, you know, the, the same fish that's going to take to win it. It's just yesterday I put a, you know, a smaller one in the box that maybe I shouldn't have, but I'm fishing more for points. For Angler of the Year, I'm in, sitting in second place right now, and that's my goal this year is to, is to win Angler of the Year. I just need to come in with a solid bag today, and, and that'll definitely help that out. Thank you. That was dangerous, but I had to take oh. it. I had to take it. There was a wall I swimming with that one, too. That was a little dangerous for you, but I had to take it open up. Well, as long as you got it, because it actually <laughs> broke the line. Man. <laughs> There's another beauty. We'll take him today. Yeah. 28-incher. Yeah, he was just gliding. <laughs> I thought I better take a, my job. There was a fish right below it. Way to go, partner. <laughs> nice. That's another good keeper walleye in the boat for Corey Springle today. When we return, we follow more of his day on the water as he rallies on in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Don't go away. With a great history in drag racing, and now into the marine market, Lucas is proud to offer an ethanol treatment for a wide range of boat motors on the market today. Lucas Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner with stabilizers was developed to specifically address issues associated with using ethanol-based fuels. Increase your mileage and performance with Lucas Oil High Performance Products. Learn more at lucasoil.com. 
If you're going to be the best, every day is a work day. There's no time off, no vacation, no sick days. Every day's the same. Breathe, dream, sacrifice, and sweat. Every day you work late, and every morning everyone else knows you'll be working late again today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The distances aren't getting shorter. The trucks are going farther. The 2013 Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. Welcome back to the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We are out on the water now with pro angler Chad Schilling, who's yet to put a walleye in the boat. The last week uh, when we found these fish, the water temperature was 72 degrees. The day before the tournament, it was 70. Uh, first day of the tournament, it was 68.5. Not the direction you want to see the water temp going. I'm, uh, I'm actually in search mode. I'm, I'm driving right now. You can see I'm a full seven degrees colder than when I found these fish. I'm three full degrees colder than when I got them yesterday. So I'm driving around here a little bit. I'm gonna look and find the right water. When I find the right water, the bites can come fast, but if I keep wasting time where the water is not right, I don't look for good results out of that. So um, it almost looks like I'm going the wrong way. You'd think the wind would push that warm water this way, but it's actually getting colder. We were just at least at 65, eight, 65, seven, so. This ain't the water I'm looking for. Probably if our first fish would have been five and a half pounds, we'd have let it go. And now we're looking for any five rats we can catch. And I'm on a number spot. Hopefully they're active enough. I mean, I don't know if they're active enough to get five of them out of here, but that's the goal right now, to come in here and get five fish. Heck, the goal right away is to get one fish. We can't get the second one until we get this first one, so. Along with Chad, our day one Jimmy John's Freaky Good leader, Brian Deppner, is also facing adversity. With every hookup critical, missing a fish like that one isn't the way he and co-angler Tyler Nekadome expected to end the final day of fishing. Here's the bite on the inside here. It has nothing to do with it. At least three, we're 0 for 2 for a while there. That's four, four bites. Yeah, at least three, they got off. Four bites. Four. Yeah, that's it. One fish. God darn it, that was a good one, too. Yeah. They're all nice fish up here. Like you said, you get a bite, it's a nice fish. I don't know why they're coming off today. A tough bite today for sure for the day one leaders. Next, we go back out with Corey Springle and Harry Miller, who are still hanging tough. Sitting here, Quarter to two, got four, four good fish in the box here. I just need one more bite to, to really make a run at this thing. Just keep grinding it off. It's been, it's been slow and it's been tough for everyone. There's been a lot of boats running around. I know it's tough. Coming in with a solid limit today is gonna be huge. Just one more bite. You just gotta hope you can get five of them. I was fortunate to, to get six bites by 11.30 yesterday and, and came in early, uh, hoping to do that again today. 
Got him? Yep. Good man, Corey. Good man, Corey. Just take your time. That's acting real ball league, too. Oh my god, look at the one on the screen, too. Got a locator. There's another one down there. Just let them come up. Oh, yeah. 20 feet. 15. It's a big one. Look back towards the kicker. 10. He's coming. See him? Oh, yeah, he's down there. He's straight down. Let me bring them. Hey, son. <laughs> There's five. Whew. What a really. <sighs> <sighs> oh, man. Ah, the giant wedgie's a good one. On a tough bite, he's a dandy. Well, there's number five. He's not a big guy, but we'll take him. I think now I, I definitely got to have something 27 or bigger. Um, I want to wait for a big one, but I just, a 27 inch will probably be about a three pound upgrade, and I'll take that any day right now. I'm just kind of a bite. Yeah, right? it's tough right now. With Corey determined on earning points for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year, his day may just shape up for something more. Anglers are already starting to make their way back to the docks. Will Corey's decision to fish for one more big one be the right decision? Oh. Stay tuned, the weigh-in is next. C.A. Richardson here for Power Pole, where every shallow water anchor is designed and tested to be extremely quiet. How quiet? Let's take a look. Hey, guys. Great work, guys. Power Pole, deadly silent to help you catch more fish. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more. All automatically, and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. Evan Root E-Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. But what about the latest 150 four-strokes that claim to deliver two-stroke-like torque? See the proof for yourself. Get your free DVD now and watch how the two-stroke Evan Root E-Tech 150 outpulls and out-accelerates the four-stroke competition. See how it wins when it comes to maintenance, ease of winterization, and more. Evan Root E-Tech is the true champion. Go to EvanRoot150Challenge.com and get your free DVD now. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evanrude, proven power, proven reliability. 
Jimmy Johns, Freaky Bass Delivery. Mercury, number one on the water. Stratus, soul of a predator. Welcome back to the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We're here with Corey Springle, who is hooked up right now in the final moments of the day. It's looking as though his last minute decision to fish for one more big walleye may have paid off as he is just seconds away from landing what could bring him another championship title. 20, 15, 10. As long as it's a walleye, it's got a chance of being a big one. Oh, there he is. Corey. Huh? What do you think, my man? <laughs> That's the one we were looking for, bud. That's a tank, too. Oh, look at that one. Feels good to get number six, finally. Whoa, what a day. I didn't think it was going to happen like this. I didn't think it was going to happen today, but we finally got our six fish. It's time to take a nice boat ride in. Man, it, it came together quick there at the end, but it's a good feeling. Can't wait to get on stage and weigh these fish. Corey Springle's coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. He left this morning at five fish for him and his co-angler, Harry Miller, to go with your 39.80 pounds. Corey Springle, you have 35-2-4, launching you to 75 pounds of walleye. Good enough for first place right now, Corey Springle. Feels pretty good. Uh, man, it was a grind out there today. I seen so many boats driving around. I knew I knew it was tough for everyone. It was tough for me. I, I didn't get the fish this morning like I needed to. Um, and oh, really? Huh. All right, let's find out right now. Pro Brian Defner, 43-92 on day one. He's lifting up. We're going to set it into the scale. Gonna set it down, don't go too far, gentlemen. Looks like we got a fish in the bag. 8.51 pounds. Corey Springle, you are champion. There's been three events this year. Corey Springle's crown champion in two of them. Put it together, he's leading the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year race and crown champion here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's crazy to win, you know, two of the three this year, and uh, you know I've been having great success in other circuits too this year. So all about just having confidence that your decisions that you're making are right. You're not second guessing yourself and running all over, and, and that's just where I feel really comfortable when I'm fishing tournaments. A field that makes up some of the most decorated men in all of walleye fishing have competed for the last two days here on Green Bay with some of the most adverse conditions ever dealt with. Changing wind conditions, changing water temperatures, and who tops it all but young Corey Springle. Putting the herd on at two of the three events thus far through our regular season, which concludes our regular season, leading into our championship, our next stop on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Devil's Lake, North Dakota. We'll see you there. Thank you. That was dangerous, but I had to, I had to take it.